Okay, greetings everyone. This is a little bit uh, unusual. Uh, obviously, because of the virus uh, sweeping the world, we've decided to uh, sus suspend all the uh, sessions. So I'll be doing a, uh, a video virtual session you'd play along with. So, uh, it'll be just like it is normally, except you won't be here. I'm on my own. And um, you can strum along, uh, play with a bit you like, lead or anything like that. Go and have a go at that. Okay, and we'll go through the blues licks, which is what I promised you. But um, obviously, I'm not doing a live cast because we need a good internet connection, which I don't have. So um, I'm recording it and I'm going to send it out to you. I'll send you out a link to I'm going to stick it up on. Um, privately on YouTube, it won't be to the public, and then um, send you a link, so you can get on it really easy without having to download anything. Okie dokie, so let's get started. So if you just need your, we're just going to play through the opening song, get your chord sheet, so it's going to be, baby, what do you want me to do? You need. Strum along with me on this one. along on that one. That's your warm-up. Okay, so now it's just going to be going through the, uh, well, first of all, we're going to do the pentatonic scale. Make sure you got that one off. And we'll do it with the, uh, with the, uh, with the backing track. The famous blues licks, uh, sorry, uh, blues shuffling eight. Uh, I'll say that if I can find it. Uh, bear with me a minute. Just got to find it on my phone. Should be in here. Blues, there we go. Alright. Oh, a bit of distortion for this one. You get the volume. Okay, this is the track. Fluid, uh, or fluid uh, 
even, run up the scale, back down again, uh, in that kind of um, shuffle rhythm, you know. Do 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 do. do. Okay. Uh, you can slide down, but you can't get the shuffle so well. But if you could slide down to this. Just, uh, I messed it up. I messed it up going slowly, I was quite going fast. So uh, you just want to keep doing that so you can play it. Okay, cool. Okay, so you've got to get that right in your fingers, then you can do the, the licks, okay? So uh, I'll let you do that. I'll put the track on uh, for you to play along with. I know you've got it yourself. But as if you were in the group, let's put the track on again and I'll just run it through uh, a couple of times and you can play the scale. Okay, let's get it back to the beginning. Here we go. You've got to really stick the whole track on, play over the whole thing. Uh, it's about five minutes long to really get that into your fingers, okay? Uh, but once you've got that in them, you can break it up. Kind of thing. All right, so you can't play around it until you know it really well. Okay, cool. Uh, so I'll assume you've done all that. Let's move on to these blues licks, okay? Uh, so um, I'm going to go through them. Uh, you've got them written down so you can see how the tab looks, and then I'm going to show you the. Because um, on the track, it's uh, not always the same. People play them different ways, but this is the way I hear them anyway, when I, and I made them up, so most of them. So um, we're going to go through. I'll put the track on uh, for each one, okay? So let me get the first one is the opener. So this is your opening gambit for the uh, solo, because he's going to make a solo in the end. So uh, I'll just show that. I'll play the lick over the whole 12 bar blues uh, sequence, so you get an idea, okay? So I'll just show the lick, before I start, I'll show the lick again. So it basically just goes. It's that, so it's. Don't over bend it, just, uh, I've worked out, it's actually. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a full bend. Okay, so uh, let's have a go at that one. Uh, over 12 bars, if you So, uh, 
don't again get the uh, turnaround in. Extra points if you can get that because then it proves you're listening to the track. Okay, so that's your first one. Okay. Uh, good. Okay, so you press that one. Get the right amount of bend on that. And then stop it. You're not bringing it down again. Just keep it up there, take your finger, stop the sound. Stop the sound with your hand on the strings. Okay, uh, right, good. So I'm going to have to look at the uh, sheet now. On my phone, bear with me. So, uh, lick number two. It's, um, yep, that's the double stop where you hit two together. So you've still got the swing. That's what it should sound like, all smooth and together, not. Or. You know, this should all be smooth. Because you've got that going. It's nicely in the swing, okay. Let's do that over 12 bars, here we go. I'm switching between uh, two uh, two different apps here. Okay. That's it. Two. We'll get into it. Uh, next one is uh, lick three, which is uh, oh, this is nice. Uh, yeah. So that's just uh, nice one. That seven five seven five seven. You know, it's always uh, do vibrato on the end. So if I stay on the last note for more than a split second. Give a little shake. Okay, so that's just simply starts on the fifth string, seventh fret. Okay, cool. Let's uh, hear what that sounds like when it's repeated. Let's uh, okay. do these all from the start. <laughs> That's three. Uh, what's the next one? Three, I've got, I've got five. Okay, next one, four. This is, uh, yeah. Okay, this is uh, bend the seventh fret, first string. Nice bluesy one. So, quite a long bend. Yeah, that is a full bend. A full bend is two frets up. Okay, so that's a long bend. Okay, so what that sounds like. This is number four. Switching back again. Rifle through these now. Uh, lost me uh, bearings. Right, okay, lick four, lick five. Okay, this is a cool one. This is this is your Chuck Berry lick, which I like to call it. Uh, personal favourite of mine, where you bend the uh, 
You bend the third string, the seventh fret, with your third finger, and then you flatten out the first finger on five and five on the top two strings, so fifth fret, top two strings, to get that nice double sound. So you bend that string, and then kind of stop the sound, and then, so it sounds like this. You do it twice in one lick. So you practice doing that. Practice slow. In two halves, first the bend, don't overbend it, but. So you're in control, don't just. You know, it rings out. So keep control, so mute that once, it, once you've heard the noise. Yeah. And then to two, and stop that. Famous Johnny B. Good one, mate. So, so. Okay, so let's see that one. What's that sounds like? Over 12 bars. Here we go. Uh, at the beginning. Okay, great. So that's, uh, what, I forget what number that is, five, I think, isn't it? Uh, yeah, that was five. Okay, now this one, this is simply a run down the scale. Okay, so. Yeah, so it's a direct run down the scale, this one. So it's eight, five, eight, five, seven, five, seven. And the shuffle. So bad. I uh, quite often use that with a. So. Okay, cool. Let's do that one. Uh, let's, um... Here we go. That's a nice one, that's clear sound, that's good. I think I've got the wrong one now, that's it. Okay, cool. Next one is, uh, I'm forgetting which app I'm using. Pick it up, okay. That was six. Number seven, okay, that's another double one, but it's uh, so double on the fifth again, so top two strings, but one finger down over two strings. And then you finish it off with, so think of it in two halves. That's the first bit, and then seven, five, seven. Yeah. That's how it sounds. So you want a nice. Think of that. Think of that shuffle all the time when you're playing this. Okay, let's see what that sounds like. Uh, by the way, these will vary. Some of them will vary from the uh, sound file I gave you because uh, Dave who recorded them. He didn't hear me playing them, he just went by the tab, so he, that's his own interpretation of them. So, um, but this is the way I like to do them, so you get that real shuffle. Okay, so this one will be, uh, here we go. Here we go. That's the wrong one. Oh, that's the wrong one. Yep, that's the wrong one.
this now. Okay, fantastic. So that's that one. I forget what number that was. Let's have a little look. Okay, that was number seven. So number eight. This is a bit of a strange one. Is I'll put this one in just to get you uh, skipping a string, uh, which is quite common, but I'm not sure this works in a blues setting. But uh, So this one, I've just gone for... I made this up. So you're skipping a string in there. It's best to do it like that. Hit the first note and then forget about it. And then move your fingers over. So... Just a turn around. I think we've done basically done them all. Uh, the last one was that was a yeah, just a turn around. And Dave's come up with his own river, he's gone uh, like uh, let's join two together somehow, but you don't need to do that. Uh, you've already if you've been catching the turn around each time, then you've been practicing that anyway, so that's cool. So when you're playing um, a solo. You're here when this turn around, every time turn around comes in, around. Whatever you do, just break away and do that. And then it just ties it all back in again. Okay, right, brilliant. So you can play those and um, play along with me or um, do what I've just done. Put the track on from the beginning and play through the whole 12 bars and then stop it. Then play the next one, stop it, next one. And um, until you get really used to them. Best to get used to the lick before you start trying to play with the backing track. So you're best to, um, you know, with that first one. Just practice that slightly. Speed up. Okay, cool. Uh, then the um, next thing to do is, uh, which I'm just going to have a go at now, is joining them together. I don't know if I'll see all these, because uh, I'm using my phone, which is very small, so I might have to, I might have to move it around as I go. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, here we go. Let's have a go at this. Uh, oh, I won't be looking at it anyway. Anyway, I'll, I'll mix them up. Anyway, give you an idea. You can make a solo anyway, play them in order, or mix them up, doesn't matter. I'll do as many as I can remember. Here we go. So uh, this is a kind of a solo that you can do. Get the track up again. Where's that? Blues. Taking a bit of time to find it. Right, Blue shuffle. Right. Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, so start with a few of the licks and then I start winging it. Uh, so you can just come up with your own licks there. <laughs> You can double, double bend them as well, so you can stay on one note. That's a different one. Okay, so we do all those licks, uh, but at the moment, just stick to those. Uh, try and fill them, try and get a bit of a uh, solo going. So get the track going and space them out. Leave a gap between each one, so play one lick at a time. So that's going to be the next stage, just to give you a little bit of advance, uh, look at that, and um, have a little go at that. Uh, I'll just mention as well, um, these things I'm setting you to do, you can record yourself and um, stick them, uh, as long as the recordings aren't too long, you can stick them on the WhatsApp uh, app, which I, that's why I've got your numbers, and then you can, uh, I can have a listen to them. So if you put the track on, play in front of it, record it, uh, you can record as many times as you like and just send your best shot and then um, I can hear how you're getting on with the with the licks, fit them to the track. Um, I don't mind if you just want to stick to one lick, do it over 12 bars at that stage, or if you've moved on a bit and you want to do, uh, try linking them together as a solo. If you do that, make sure you leave gaps between each one. Don't just play them all straight off, okay? So leave a nice gap, music comes through. So that is the next stage, is trying to form a bit of a solo out of those licks. Can't do that until you've got all the licks nailed Nice and confident. It's all about confidence. It's just confidence, you know. If you play, that's confident. It's just still getting that. So it's just a confidence thing. Uh, you know, the licks play without confidence. It's just disjointed. You've got to get the. Uh, it's just confidence and you get that with the more you do it okay cool so that's what we're going to do on that now uh try and get something down recorded if you know how to do that if you don't know how to record and you want to just um, get in touch and i'll try and help you with setting up a little using your phone how to record yourself there's some apps you can use as well you, where you can um have a four, four track on your app so you make the first track live you play your backing into it make your second track live play it the lead over it and, it and you can join them both together and they'll put them both out together and um, you can mix the volumes and everything like that and then it goes into one track and then you can just it's an mp3 and you can send that off so if you want to know about that you can let me know and i can tell you what phone you've got i'll tell you um, if it's uh, they've got they all do them anyway app store and the play store okay so just uh have a go at that all right it's giving you something to get on with uh cool uh, I think that's about, uh, sorry, I forget where I am now. Let's just go to page. Let's go back. Right, okay, blues link to that. Okay, cool. So that's really all you've got to do is uh, do that. You've got the tracks, you know, try and get something recorded you can send to me so I can uh, have an idea of your progress. And um, it's really just about keep doing it, keep putting the track on, keep playing over it. It's a kind of a medium track, so it's not too quick, but it's not slow either. So you need, need your wits about you, but you can leave a, a bit of a gap between each one, give you a bit of breathing space. And while you, while you leave a gap, have a, have a bit of a crafty look at the next lick so you get in your head, you know, which one it is. You should be able, by looking at the tab, you should be able to get an idea of which one you're going to do next. Get your fingers ready and then get, get playing it. All right, cool, I'll leave that with you. Right, let's play out now with... Um, Sweet Home Chicago. It's another 12 bar blues. A bit quicker than the uh, first one we did. Uh, so um, play along with me, get the chord sheet up, and uh, let's have a go at that. I'll just put a backing track on. I'll tell you what I will do. I think I'll put on the, I'll put on the actual track and we can, I won't sing and we can play along with it. That'd be pretty cool if I've got that on me. Have I got that on me? I should have. Okay, let's see if I've got that on me. Blues tracks, right? Here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, cancel that. Wasn't the track I thought it was. Okay. Uh, let's try this one. This will work. Give me a chance to sort me one in now. Okay, here we go. This is the one we're singing on, I think. Here we go. I'll do the intro. Good. Right, so there you should have just been playing along. Okay, cool. Well done, everyone. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Right, uh, so disregard the one before that. That was the, that threw me a bit because it didn't have the singing on it. But uh, that's a pretty cool one. Okay, so that's enough for you to get on with. Obviously, this is a bit rough and ready because uh, we've, I've never done this before. So I'm just going to give it a whirl. And then um, if it works, I could do one. They'll get better as we go along. But I could do one every, every week while the, uh, this crisis is on and um, send it out to you on your normal day and then you can do it at your leisure, uh, do the exercises but the, the, the key here is to try and record yourself uh, with doing the exercises and um, so I can see your progress 
uh, that would be key. So if you need help with that, drop me a line and I'll see what we can do. It'd basically be just using your phone. In the simplest form, you can use the um, voice recorder on your phone, sit it on the table, uh, and then if you can get, um, if you've got a PC that you can play the tracks through or something like that, or sometimes do you have a, um, uh, a socket for MP3 on your phone as well, uh, on your amp, so um, there's ways of doing it anyway. Okay, so um, cool. That's the first one. Uh, take what you can from that and uh, keep playing. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Cheers.